this short clip present several physical models filled with a distorted fraud similitude. The first model is a distorted scale model of the ocean floor around an island of China. The horizontal scaling ratio is XR equal 1200 and the vertical scaling ratio was ZR equal 120. The first photograph presents a general view of the model and the second photograph show details of the ocean floor. The photographs were taken in 2016. The next example of distorted fraud modeling is a physical model of the Hangzhou Bay on Chenton River estuary in China. This estuary is famous for a large tidal range and the development of a tidal bar. The horizontal scaling ratio is XR equal 1000 and the vertical scaling ratio ZR equal 100 in the model with a time scale ratio TI equal 100. The photograph was taken in 2016. The Chenton River is famous for its large tidal bore, seen in the following movie, taken in September 2018 at Xianguang. The river Chewith was 2.5 km at the time. The third photograph shows the tidal bore approaching the Chenton Bore observation station about the same period. This movie describe the physical study of the Brisbane International Airport in Brisbane, Australia, along the Brisbane River. The site was located in the mouth of the Brisbane River and its development required the deviation of several waterways north of the main Brisbane River Channel, including the construction of a man-made floodway called the Schultz Canal. The physical tests were conducted in the 1970s at the University of Queensland the physical model was a distorted fraud scale study with a horizontal scaling ratio XI equal 250 and a vertical scaling ratio ZI equal 40. The study included several configurations from prior to any land reclamation to the present modern day airport configuration. Shows the present airport and proposed development area. Parts of particular interest to this film are present airport Nudgee Beach, Jackson Creek, Crib Island, and Serpentine Creek, which are the main outlets for floodwaters from northwestern suburbs. The main runway and its accompanying terminal area and aircraft parking aprons are constructed over Serpentine Creek, resulting in an increase in flood levels below Nudgee Road. The red line denotes the access road and perimeter road which appear on the model as a concrete wall. Final development of the airport is the construction of a parallel main runway which reduces the area available to carry floodwaters. Dimensions of the floodway will be 400 meters at Nudgee Road widening to 850 meters. It caused increased levels immediately below Nudgee Road Bridge. No increase in level was detected upstream of this point for both the 600 cubic meters per second flow, which occurs upon the extreme 850 cubic meters per second flow. For all stages of airport development and the full range of flood discharge, these model studies have confirmed that the diversion can be constructed so that the floodway capacity will be maintained to ensure that the probability and level of flooding at Nudgee Road will not be increased above that currently existing. The following movie presents extracts of the physical study of a bridge at New Farm in Brisbane along the Brisbane River. The site was located in the estuarine zone of the Brisbane River, between the city and the airport, and the physical tests were conducted in 1973. The bridge was to be 600 meters long with four spans, 
on two out of the three piers were situated in the Brisbane River main channel. The physical model was conducted at the University of Queensland with a distorted fraud scale study. The horizontal scaling ratio was XR equal 240 and the vertical scaling ratio was ZR equal 48. The study included consideration for sediment transport on mobile bed as well as resistance to ship impact. The two main flow conditions were tested corresponded to a normal tidal discharge on an exceptional flood of up to 6,650 cubic meters per second. 